Hey, I'm Jonas Spatoš from Narodní fondy Archiv. I know that Kafi is waiting, so I'll try to keep the, the presentation as short as possible. Uh, so I'm going to talk about uh, a project of ours about uh, for uh, preservation of Czech video games. Uh, the project is still in its first year, so we don't even have a, a proper name for the community. So uh, we still have this very, very long name for the project application. But the project timeline is uh, 2023 till 2028. Uh, it, the project is the participation of the project is a consortium of three subjects: Nanofilm Archive for the archival part. Film and TV school in uh, the Academy of Pe Performing Arts for uh, the curation, mainly uh, game design department, and also the Institute for Im Intermedia in Czech Te Technical University for the te technical solution. Um, uh, the motivation for actually doing this, uh, regarding that we are a film archive, we have still a lot of unprocessed films. Why do we gonna do games? So the thing is that the Czech Film Fund, which subsidizes uh, Czech films, is going to transform into audiovisual fund, which go is going to subsidize also other types of works, including games. Therefore, as for the Czech law, the subsidies is, are directly linked to the legal deposit. Therefore, we had to come up with a solution how to actually archive those games with the intent to actually build a proper gaming collection uh, on the framework of this project. Uh, so the project param parameters as of now, this might change in the future, because as I said, we are still in the first year, is that we have about, uh, we have about 100 games uh, released between uh, early 90s, uh, early 80s, still uh, uh, present time on various platforms, including like ZX Spectrum, Amigas, but also PlayStation and PC also. We have decided we are not going to collect any hardware as for we as we don't have any facilities for it, and uh, also regarding to the fact that there is a vibrant uh, amateur collect collectors community, we are going to probably uh, outsource those, or they already have the hardware, so we're not going to ingest it into, into our institution. Rather, we are trying to uh, come up with an emulation solution for the games to be playable without any um, any means of installing anything, basically in the browser. And we are also going to preserve the game session recordings from those. We are still not sure if we are going, going to preserve every session recording or just the curator ones. We'll see about that. Um, as for the cooperation, we are in the, uh, we have formally uh, contacted or we are in the contact of the Game Developer Association, which, which is a Czech institution. And we also are in the cooperation uh, with Internationale Computersammlung, which is uh, an association of German uh, institutions collecting video games. Uh, we are looking to co uh, potential cooperation within Software Preservation Network, which we are not part of. Um, and given that those are specialists in this field, we will probably do something. Uh, if anybody here is uh, connected with this, Network, please let me know, and I have lots of questions about it. And also, maybe we, we, we should do something in a FIAF in the longer term, So, but we'll, we'll see about that. As for the technology, we know that regarding the non-PC platform, we need to use emulation. Uh, there are There is some prior art in a sense of framework which are actually able to emulate the, the, the hardware. As for the PC games, we are looking into virtualizing uh, the games themselves either through proper virtualization, like you know VMware, KVM, or containers. Uh, we have some some prototypes, but still we'll, we'll we'll see how will it end up. We are looking into actually uh, replacing Windows licenses with Wine or Proton, and yeah, uh, the, the the resulting archival package will go to the OIES system. Yeah, uh, these are, th there's only a couple of screenshots that we have some prototypes. We have a Mafia running in the browser. We have Bulance running in the browser, which is actually a very weird game where you become, uh, uh, what's the English name for it? Uh, a pillow and you kill other pillows. Yeah. We also have some schemes about the workflow. 
uh, which we're going to use, but those are still in the very early research phases. And we also have a very complex uh, metadata schema, which which is taken or taken, uh, which was given uh, to us uh, very generously by the Internationale Computer Sammlung. Uh, we have lots of unsolved questions, of course. What about licensing games, even in the research access? We are still not sure uh, how will it work. We don't know what to do with the notion of patches and versions in the age of digital distributions like Steam or um, Epic Game Store and stuff. And we still don't know how are we going to present the user-generated content in the, in, the, in, the, in the games themselves. And also massive multiplayer games are currently not able to be preserved yet. So we'll see about that. Or we are probably not going to do those. <laughs> And uh, just a quick remark that we are actually going to make a conference about this project in a year or so here also, uh, also and the, 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 the themes will be about prior art, about case studies of our pre-existing pre pre projects and about the technical solutions. Yeah, that's all. Uh, please reach out if you have any comments or suggestions and uh, we'll be happy. I'll, I'll be happy personally to, 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 to hear them. Thank you. We have some time before the uh, coffee break for questions. Hi, Jonas. Thank you for that uh, impressive workflow. Um, can you, um, is part of the project, because you're, you're sort of showing a lot of the, the technical approaches to emulating the, the games themselves, are you also planning in the project to do you know, lower level, like, f Keeping, keeping, um, you know, Twitch streams of run-throughs of, of video games, or asking people to come uh, to come and play and record that as a, as as one of the ways to sort of preserve the experience of a game. Yeah. So far, we only agreed on the preservation of the recordings, which uh, will be done in the in the sense of the project, or the on, in the like safe space of some like station. Uh, I'm not sure about the Twitch content. It's also a matter of like you actually have to catalog it and do all the stuff behind it. So there are some already existing solutions but done by the community. There are some websites and stuff. Uh, so we will probably let them do it. So we have time at least to do this part of the project and then we will see how will it end up in the future. Hey, maybe you, you said it, but in the games you have, uh, some of them are from the 80s. So do you have them on console or it's all computer game? Well, most of the 80s games are already preserved, or like at least digitized. We do have the data files for them. But still, we do have some of those which we don't have, so we'll have to preserve them from the original floppy disks and stuff. But most of the games are actually... Uh, we have them already in the digital form, like okay. so. Yeah, it's readily uh, playable in the emulation right now. Okay. For uh, the, these games are the simplest one to to to, to do so far. It's just to say we have a, a game uh, um, collection, and we are recording also people from the community that have the console or the old computers at home, and they are just playing the game on the original computer. And this is what we preserve at the end because. We can't have all the console, so but this is really cool to connect with all the communities of those super fan of those uh, consoles, and it was a very nice project for us. Uh, th that's one of the recent discussions in the team, of course. Hi. Um, so we've talked a little bit about amateur film and um, other presentations. Um, I'm curious, uh, two branches of sort of amateur game making um, mods to games. Uh, so I played Mafia, so I know quite a bit about the mods scene there. And also uh, amateur game making. So, you know, people that didn't go for a larger public release, but at least just released it online. Uh, where did those fall within the thinking of this project? I, I know it's beyond the scope, but you know, have conversations come up? Well, as for the ontology, uh, the mods are the manifestation of the game, so we shall preserve them as its own manifestation. 
and the amateur games, like most of the 80s games are actually amateur games, and these are part of the sample. Thanks. Great, can we give Jonas and the rest of our speakers a round of applause?